Hello. Uh, let us see how we can draw a uh, factorized quadratic equation. Say we've got an equation like this y is equal to uh, x plus 2 and x minus 1. Now to graph a quadratic, what we need to do is we need to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the vertex. Now to find the x-intercept, uh, you set y is equal to 0. So if you set, so let us find the x-intercept. So we know that uh, the graph cuts the x-axis when y is equal to 0. So let us set y is equal to 0. So we can say, okay, 0 is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, now we ask uh, this question. When would this equation become 0? So we know that uh, this equation would become 0 when this is equal to 0. Or this is equal to zero. So let us set each of them equal to zero. So let us say when would x plus two become a zero? So we know x plus two becomes a zero when x is equal to negative two. So x should be negative two for x plus two to become zero. And when would x minus 1 become a 0? So we can say, okay, that would become 0 when x is equal to 1. So the x-intercepts are 1 and negative 2. Okay. Now, to find the y-intercept, uh, we set x is equal to 0. So, so y-intercept. is when x is equal to 0. So, so let us set x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0 plus 2 and 0 minus 1. So what I've done is I've substituted x is equal to 0 into this equation. So y is equal to, that is 0 plus 2 is 2, times 0 take over 1 is negative 1. So the y-intercept is negative 2. Okay, now the next is to find the vertex. Now vertex we should know, we know it is always between the x-intercepts. That's one way of confirming or checking the x-intercept. So we know the x-intercepts are negative 2 and 1. So the x coordinate of the vertex comes between the x intercepts. So the x value of the vertex is halfway between the x intercepts. So that is negative 2 plus 1 divided by 2, which is negative 1 over 2, which is negative 0 0.5. Now to find the y value or the y value of the vertex, so let us name that as dub y v. What we do is we substitute the value of the x x value of the vertex in the equation, which is negative 0 0.5 plus 2 and x. Uh, zero, negative 0 0.5, negative 1. Now let us use the graphic calculator. Uh, so this is, so let us do it on a calculator. So we go uh, negative 0 0.5 plus 2 and bracket negative, negative 0 0.5. 
point five take away one, which is negative two point two five. Okay, so so what happens now? So this will become we can say the the vertex the vertex is negative zero point five comma negative two point two five. Let us grab this now. So let me use the smart board tool. So let me drag this down. So what do we know? So the x intercepts are negative two and one. So this is negative two and one. The y intercept is uh, y intercept. Uh, is what's our y intercept? So let's find it out. So x intercept is negative two. So this is our negative two. And the vertex is the vertex is uh, negative zero point five, uh, negative two point two five. So roughly it comes. This is 0 0.5 and 2.25, so it comes somewhere. Yeah. So let me use a pin tool to plot that. It's better. So this comes roughly. Yeah. And if I want to draw the graph, the graph would joining these points. So let let us check the x intercept and intercepts are negative 2 and 1 the y intercept is negative 2 and the vertex is 0 0.5 no this is wrong so it's negative 0 0.5 the negative 0 0.5 so this comes here so let us graph it so if you join the points it's a parabola Roughly, it'll go like this. The vertex is also the turning point. The graph turn from here, and uh, it goes like this. Okay, I could have drawn better. And let me draw the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, so it goes like this. Thank you very much.